Tech Engineering in Evesham are looking for engineering nirvana. And when I say that, I mean running 24-7 lights out. Now, they're getting very close to that. What we're going to do today is talk about their DMG Mori DMU50 full five axis machine. It has got a robot arm on it to give them that extra automation. But we're going to talk about the DMG Mori. Now, first of all, why do you like it? Uh, it's just a really good all round machine. Um, we bought it originally on a bit of a whim. We had no work for it, uh, no idea what we were going to do on it. But since, we, since buying it, it probably become one of the busiest machines we, we've, we've got in here. It's always got work on it. So a typical engineer there, buying it on a, on a whim, but no, no work, but now run, run all the time 24-7 pretty much? Yeah, it, it pretty, like I say, it's the busiest machine in the, in the shop. Okay, I want to briefly talk about specifications. So in terms of spindle speed power, Okay, yeah, so we got uh, spindle speed on one that we've got at the minute. We've got 14,000. I think there is an option for up to 18,000 on it. Uh, we've got uh, 25 kilowatts on it. Um, but I believe there are various other options as well to give it a bit more grunt if you want. Uh, I think, I, yeah, so 25 or 35. So yeah. 25 is sufficient for your needs, though. Yeah, more than enough. More than enough. What about tool station? Uh, we've got um, 30 tools in our, uh, in our machine. Again, more options on that though, if required? Uh, yeah, I think mean, there, there are more options. I think you can double it or, um, or half it. Okay, so 1630 or 60 with my maths roughly? Yeah, I think that's about right. <laughs> okay, now in terms of, like, you've got the full five axis simultaneous, what does it do in terms of BNC axis for the swivel? Um, well, basically, you, you can more or less get one hit machining. You can put a part in there, and um, where before you would normally have to rotate the part several times to be able to get to every face, you know, you, you, Including the name five axes, you can get to all, all five faces at the same time. Okay, so you said earlier, do parts that you didn't think were possible? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we've, we've had a go at playing around with uh, some various parts, and uh, just what you can do on it is just incredible. All right, we'll come to that in a minute, showcasing what Ollie can do. But in terms of what about the controls and um, how easy they are to use, and what type of controls are they? Uh, we've got a Hyden Hain control on ours, um, it was the first Hyden Hain that we'd had. Simple to sort of transfer over? Um, yeah, it's sort of kind of, if you know one language, you, you can more or less pick up every other language, really. Um, and it, it's a really nice control, and I'd quite happily have it on every other machine as well. It's really nice. But there are other options, is that right? Uh, yeah, I believe you can have a Siemens, and you can uh, have the DMG um, Salos control as well. Okay. What about usability? It's got, it's got keypad and touchscreen, is that right? Uh, the one that we've got is just keypad. Right. Uh, no touchscreen on this one. I believe the, the new, newer generation have got uh, touchscreen again. Right. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure if it's like any other um, DMG product, it will, it will just work. DMG Mori, let's just clarify that, not just DMG. DMG Mori, yeah. Absolutely. Now, you're talking about the components. You had a nice sort of overview of the machine. Let's see some of the components you've, you've manufactured. Now, first of all, this one is interesting. Talk us through it, Ollie. Um, got to add a bit of spare time. Um, I just wanted something cool to play with, so made made myself a nice little bust. Right, so you had a you know a, a bit of spare time, and you, you came up with this creation. I'm not yeah, I mean it, it's absolutely fantastic. It really is. So just talk us through it if you can. Um, so again, just start off with a bit of billet, plonked it in there. I think making it, I think I used about two or three tools. Um, probably took me half an hour to set it up. A um, bit more time on the cam, but just quit the program in. Yeah. Press go, dropped it out, and it, it, just, well, it just speaks for itself. You can make whatever, whatever you can think of, you can make. A, a, that's a great endorsement of the machine. So let's look at some sort of production parts you manufactured. So if you'd like, I mean, we've got a nice selection here. If you're gonna pick, well, let me pick. What about this one here? Again, um, I understand this was a, a, a breather hose part for um, one of our Formula One customers. Okay. Um, you can't say who though, but just Formula One will be sufficient. Formula One. Um, at the time, this was the only machine that we had which would be accurate enough to do it. Again, you'd look at it and think that that's a turn part. Um, we hadn't got the CAD capabilities at that time on our turning machines as as we do now. The reason you made it on this machine, accuracy and repeatability. Accuracy and repeatability, yeah. Okay. But you bought, I mean, this machine is really bought for its power and its grunt as well, is that right? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we put some big old chunky bits of metal in there and um, it soon mills them off. 
Okay, so in terms of, um, you know, I mentioned repeatability, no problem with warming up or um, the temperature and things like that, thermal growth? Uh, no, none at all. It, it's really, really accurate. Brilliant. Okay, I want to see another one of your production parts, please, just quickly. Okay, uh, this was a uh, gear change lever for a motorcycle. Uh, again, made on this machine. Okay. Just uh, talk us through the quick, the, the quick processes, please. Again, solid block again. Um, rough around the outside, clean it all up. Got some tricky little detail going on in the middle bit here. Um, angled hole going in the in the side. Just more or less do it in one. Really make it sound very simple, but made even simpler with your DMU50. Ollie, just a quick couple of points of why you like it so much. Um, accurate, quick setup. Brilliant, thank you very much.